In the immersive world of science fiction and futuristic cinema, Alien Nation deserves a special spot. It stood out as an exceptional sci-fi television series as it very well amalgamated Kenneth's visionary storytelling and intriguing social issues. Set in an alternate reality, this groundbreaking series digs deeper into the complex relationship between humans and extraterrestrial beings who find themselves on Earth. Alien Nation opens up the world of aliens for the viewers to experience experience a time and space where humans and these extraterrestrial beings coexist. However, this coexistence is not a smooth ride for anyone. The city of Los Angeles is changed forever when an alien spaceship crash lands on a nearby desert. These aliens belong to a race called the Tanktonese, who are later affectionately called by the name Newcomers. Newcomers, who are not welcome by the way. They have been bred in such a way that they can survive and adapt to any kind of environment. They are also called alien slaves, who exhibit qualities like intelligence and supreme strength. They reach Earth due to their spaceship crash landing in the Mojave Desert. They have a distinct physical appearance and unique capabilities. We see them quickly assimilating into human society. However, their presence sparks a range of reactions, from curiosity and intrigue to fear and prejudice. At the very core of Alien Nation, is a powerful exploration of the intricate interplay between race, culture, and identity. Based on the movie Alien Nation, this TV show treats the complex dynamics of society as it mirrors real-world issues of discrimination, racism, crime, slavery, and other social issues. By using science fiction as a lens, Alien Nation cleverly dissects these complex themes, thus delivering thought-provoking content. Interestingly, a lot of emphasis is laid on the culture and language of these newcomers. The intricately knitted details used to create this alien race highlights Kenneth's sci-fi imagination, whether it is their bulged heads or different skin type. Even though they have a different language, culture, and religion from humans, they still try to keep their roots alive and thriving. Through their language, with its strange idioms and unfamiliar sounds, we get an insight into their history, mythology, and dreams. As mentioned earlier, this show seamlessly highlights the complexities of interracial relationships. Alien Nation takes you into the lives of interracial couples, both human newcomer and newcomer newcomer. It gracefully explores the challenges they face in a society still grappling with acceptance. By showcasing their personal struggles, the series encourages viewers to contemplate upon their own biases, prejudices, thinking patterns, and reflect more deeply on the concept of the other. Therefore, this show sheds light on the human capacity for empathy and the fragility of conventional social practices through powerful conversations. Kenneth Johnson's and Gary Graham's creative collaboration is further accentuated by exceptional character development. The protagonists, Matthew Sykes, a human detective, and George Francisco, his newcomer partner, go on analyzing the events that occur and their truth. Their bond further deepened as partners and they skillfully go on hunting cases. The show dissects aspects of power and trust while also celebrating the beauty that arises from individuals working together despite their differences. This partnership works in the favor of the system as they reveal the power of uniting for a common purpose. As viewers sign up for this thrilling journey through Alien Nation, they are transported to a world where the lines between human and alien blur, where society prejudices and preconceived notions are confronted, and where the ultimate goal is achieving harmony in an ever-changing and complex society. Join us as we explore Kenneth's sci-fi vision and embark on a gripping adventure into the heart of Alien Nation. Before we go into our explanation, we have a very small request. If you like our content, please support us by subscribing to our channel. This is a small click for you, but for us, it means a lot. Thank you. Let's begin.
What's the Alien Nation TV show all about? The series is created keeping in mind the futuristic settings in the United States of America. A spaceship crash lands on Earth in 1990 in the Mojave Desert, bringing the Tanktonese race of extraterrestrials. They escape the cruelty of the Overseer's race and land on Earth. These newcomers are created by genetic engineering programmed to become great slaves. They are smart, strong, and adaptable. As they slowly get absorbed into Southern California society, some of these aliens take up the jobs of cops, while others become robbers. Biologically, these extraterrestrials look different from humans, as they have humongous bulbous heads. Post their landing in LA, they become known as newcomers, who get the status of immigrants. These immigrants live in a certain kind of fear, as they face problems parallel to many other immigrant populations throughout history. They are secluded by their culture and language, and have to constantly struggle to maintain a balance between assimilation into Earth culture and retaining their roots. They experience intense discrimination, and are forced to work as laborers in hostile environments. They are also accused of taking our jobs by many blue-collar natives of LA. The storylines in the show tackle the immoral plays in society, racism, bigotry, and extreme prejudice against minorities. We also see a social commentary being made on the painful process of childbirth that women undergo. In the show, we see a man giving birth to a fetus. Therefore, there is an element of role reversal shown in this aspect. main characters of Alien Nation. Detective Matthew Sykes is one of the most important protagonist characters, which is brilliantly portrayed by actor Gary Graham. He perfectly reflects the complexities and tensions that arose in the newly formed hybrid society through his acting chops. Sykes is seen as a seasoned and dedicated police detective who, at first, had deep prejudice towards the newcomers. However, as the series progressed, his transformation into a compassionate and understanding individual became one of the most interesting story arcs. We even see him standing up for the newcomers at times. As he developed into a better human being, the story reconfirms the fact that empathy and compassion always exist in a society even where there might be many differences. Sykes is paired with his newcomer partner, Sam Francisco, also known as George. Played by the talented Eric Pierpoint, George quickly became a beloved character in the series. As a worker for the police department's alien squad, George brought a unique perspective to crime solving, combining his alien physiology and advanced intellect with Sykes' street smart wits. George's enduring quirkiness and desire to assimilate into human culture provided significant humor that was received well by the audience. Susan Francisco is a newcomer advertising executive played by Michelle Scarabelli. She is George's wife and the couple has two kids. She is also a very protective mother. Her son is a teenage boy named Buck Francisco, who is played by Sean Six. We see tension building between him and his father, George. Emily Francisco is George and Susan's young daughter. She has an innocent face and is often troubled at school for being a newcomer. Her character is portrayed by Lauren Woodland. Kathy Frankel, Sykes' love interest and a single mother, is a strong and resilient character portrayed by Terry Trias. She is also a biochemist. Kathy's initial apprehension towards the newcomers is normal and understandable considering the integration's societal impact and her struggles as a human mother with newcomer neighbors. However, as the friendship between Kathy and George deepened, her prejudices dissolved and she developed a compassionate understanding of the newcomer community. Kathy's growth represents the positive change that can occur when individuals open their hearts and minds. Minds. The supporting characters in Alien Nation also played crucial roles in shaping the series. Albert Einstein, an elderly newcomer with exceptional knowledge and wisdom, acted as a mentor to George, providing historical and cultural context to the newcomer's experience on Earth. Captain Brian Grazer, portrayed by Ron Fassler, exemplified strong leadership in facilitating integration efforts, while also serving as a commanding presence who demanded 
respect from his team. Apozno is a Tectonese male who plays the antagonist in the Alien Nation television series. It is a really dark character who holds malicious intentions to enslave both humans and newcomers to establish the all-powerful kingdom of the Overseers. Interesting facts about the Alien Nation TV show. Did you know that the prosthetics and makeup of aliens roughly took four to five hours every day? The newcomers also had pinkish colored blood. Another piece of trivia. Among the newcomers, the men delivered babies. Brian Thompson has appeared both in the movie and on the TV show. The series has an unusually long tagline trying to incite any sort of threat from the newcomers. James Cameron, famous for making films like Titanic and the Avatar franchise contributed to the writing of this sci-fi series without getting any credit for it. The original music composer Jerry Goldsmith intended to give the background score, but was rejected for being too weird. He was later replaced by Kurt Sobel. And at one point, they thought of naming the series Outer Heat instead of Alien Nation. James Caan, who has played a character in the Alien Nation franchise, was never a fan of the show. He, in fact, found many things really silly about the show creatively. Can we see Alien Nation TV series reboot in the future? Jeff Nichols has been pulled by the idea of remaking the sci-fi buddy cop reboot of the Alien Nation series. Many sources reveal that it might be a hundred million dollar studio film which will be set in Arkansas. It was later pitched as a 10 episode Disney Plus series, but the idea was badly crushed. Later, it was speculated that Paramount Productions will take over this project and make Nichols' dream Alien Nation script more polished that would be called A Quiet Place Part 3. Nichols has earlier made projects like Midnight Special, Take Shelter, Mud, Loving, and would also remake Alien Nation's comeback nicely. He can be trusted with that. Go on. Go on, get him out of here. <laughs> Marvelous Verdict with a very engaging narrative, thought-provoking themes, and imaginative world-building, Alien Nation has become a revered classic within the sci-fi genre. Kenneth has also excellently developed the characters and plot arcs. In a genre brimming with otherworldly concepts, Kenneth's creation stands apart due to its realistic portrayal of societal dynamics and its ability to tackle weighty social and ethnic issues head-on. It serves as a testament to the immense power of science fiction in illuminating truths about our own world, while simultaneously entertaining and captivating audiences. Also, the series really beautifully overlaps the science fiction with other genres, like crime thriller, societal issues, and commentary. Hence, this show can be called a very complete show in itself. And if you liked our content, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to us if you haven't already. Have a good one and be safe. Thanks everyone.